something I wanted to talk about, which you mentioned earlier, from lack of sleep to also high intensity exercise or resistance training. And a lot of the talk that's been in the health world or just in the atmosphere lately has been about glucose spikes. When you lose sleep, what happens to your glucose spikes, I guess, in the body? And also when you're high intensity training, what happens to your glucose levels? Yeah, so it depends on, you know, what a person is referring to when like, like an average person is saying glucose spike. Um, probably they're talking about postprandial, maybe like after a meal. Uh -huh. and, um, and so when, when you are training, those spikes are not going to be as high because again, it goes down to what I already talked about. Your, as, as soon as you get glucose into your body, it's going, it's shuttled into your muscle because for 48 hours, those glucose transporters, they're called GLUT4 transporters, they are, they are ready. They're like this, just like this big open like sink mm. that's like taking it in, taking it in. And, and anyone can wear a, a continuous glucose monitor and, and, and see that, right? Um, that, that, that happens. Now, you know, I would say the, the, the bigger concern isn't necessarily the spikes if you clear it pretty quickly. Mm. The bigger concern is the long-term glucose where it's just constantly around because this goes back to the, the heart stiffening with age I talked about. So what happens is, is that when you have glucose that's continually around, let's say you, you're sedentary, you just never exercise. So, you know, your muscles aren't that responsive to the glucose. It might be taken up into your adipose tissue instead. And of course you're gonna gain more fat that mm -hmm. way. Um, but also it might just sit around longer. And so um, what happens when glucose sits around in your, in your vascular system is it reacts with, it, it forms something called advanced glycation end products or ages. And they mm. do age us, so it's easy wow. to remember. And these react with DNA, proteins, collagen in our body. And what they do, it's, it's called, it's like the chemical reaction is called the Maillard reaction. And it cross links pro, uh, collagen and stuff together. When, when it's collagen, collagen is there forever, right? So the collagen's lining our blood vessels, it's lining our myocardium, our peri pericardium, right? And when that collagen gets cross-linked, it gets stiff. It gets stiff. When, okay. the, when it gets cross-linked in our vascular system, it gets stiff. That causes hypertension. It causes what's called um, vascular compliance to go, to go down. Um, and so you're, you're, you're basically uh, stiffening your heart okay. through glucose. And the way around that is that really, with sedentary, with being sedentary, or with having too much sugar. Yeah, it's really or? okay. Sedent being sedentary is really what's facilitating it in in people. So, type diabetics have the worst of the worst because they have a hard time regulating their blood sugar. Mm -hmm. So they have the most advanced glycation end products and um, the most problems with this issue. Does that mean when they eat? processed or sugary foods they have a high glucose spike and then if they don't move they don't they can't process it better they're is not they're not disposing of the glucose yeah. correctly right yeah. and you know and that this, consistently every day over every years. day adds up it's cumulative yeah. right exactly so when you have a person that let's say is very physically active and they go eat a twinkie um they're they're going to get a little bit of glucose spike it's not going to be like the sedentary person that eats the twinkie right because they're, again, it's going right into their muscle. It's like yeah. this, like, you know, pipeline right to the muscle. Boom. So it really, exercise is really helping a lot with that. And um, it's, it's, it's not like, it's, if you're getting the spike, you know, everyone's kind of spikes after a meal. But like, if you do that, it, in fact, there's been studies showing that like doing those exercise snacks we were talking about, if you time them around meals, most of the studies have been done with people that have metabolic syndrome or type 2 diabetes. And they get these people to do like, 30 minutes of exercise like before a meal any, anywhere between like an hour or so before a meal or after a meal and it really dramatically improves their glucose really? disposal so they're not they're not getting that big spike before and after you can do the exercise before or after either either or it doesn't have to be both wow. but but yeah so timing it around a meal also really and again it's the vigorous exercise that's the best you always hear about oh you should go for a walk after a meal actually the body weight squats or something that's really going to get like heart rate high, higher, is the lack. It's the lactate you want to generate because that's mm. what's 
causing the glucose transporters wow. to basically become, you know, able to take the glucose in. So that's where the vigorous comes in. After a meal. So you enjoy a meal out with friends. You know you're going to eat poorly. You're having a celebration. You're eating desserts. You're having all the fats, all the things. When should you do this vigorous workout? Like right after you finish or like 30 minutes after? You could do it 30 minutes after. Like I was in, you know, I was in Mallorca, Spain this last summer. Live the dream. And I don't know about you, but like anytime in Europe, like gelato is just like every oh, like, everywhere and i've got like three times a yeah, day yeah i've got like a kid it it's like yeah i mean like and how can i not so of course so i was absolutely on the street doing air squats i was doing body weight squats you're eating a <laughs> squat right after, at the same time. after the gelato but like yes i i do stuff like that yeah. where it's like we were also walking a lot but i did the body like if it was like i'm gonna eat something that i yeah. never eat that's just really high in sugar I'm going to get that, but I'm going to do something. How long extra. are you doing it for? Are you doing like 10 minutes right then? Or are you doing like oh, no. two I mean, minutes? I mean, yeah, I was just doing like a couple of 20 minutes. 20 air squats. Right. There, and yeah. then I was continuing walking. So yeah. I was still getting that. But, it, you know, if if if, you, if it was someone that like, I wasn't like on a vacation, but like, yeah, right, right. if you want to stop and do like five minutes of like body weight squats, it's not, it's hard. You you do five. Sure. Yeah. It's Non-stop? Hard. Just five yeah, minutes? Yeah, yeah I mean, you'll rest like yeah, for yeah. like 20 seconds. Like, a, Still. You know, but it's hard. How much benefit would that actually give you? Let's say you have a, a bucket of ice cream. You know, you eat and then you have, not a, a bucket, bucket, but I mean, yeah, like three <laughs> scoops of ice cream. Yeah. You know, you have a lot of ice cream after you eat, big meal, you know, you're having cheese, you're having the breads, you're having everything. Then you got your ice cream. I mean, it's like a phew, glucose spike, right? How much can just five minutes of air squats actually? It's going to help a little, but that's a situation where you want to make sure you have gotten your 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 twenty or thirty minute exercise in, gotcha, or gotcha. even if you did it earlier in the day, yeah, right? Yeah. Because, but but add the extra five minutes on top of it'll that. it'll really help. It, it does meal yeah, timing, like sure. around the meal time, it, a little extra helps. But yeah, that's the case where if you're already physically active and you're doing, you do that extra. I like to do mine in the morning. Yeah. Um, it's just how I like. Even yeah, though I perform too. better performance wise, if I if I go for a run in the afternoon, I'll be like faster. Huh. Um, yeah. I still like the the pump I get in the morning. Yeah. Like, it I feels good to like, get it complete. Also, it does. It feels good you to get, get it complete. Get tired or later in the day sometimes. It does. Uh, yeah. And then also, I was talking about that mental, that mental toughness, like. When I lift in the morning and I and I and I get I do those like hard squats and stuff. Mm. Other th other things are easier. I can do like, anything really, today. Let's I go. Mean, but it's true. I mean, it it, I mean, it's not anything. Yeah, it's still hard. But like, it is a little easier. It really is. Yes. Like, I I for sure know it. 